Kubernetes secrets are not secure. And this is not a new thing. Everyone knows that Kubernetes secrets is just base 64 encoding and anyone having the access can decode it. So in short, you can never, if you are using plain Kubernetes secret, store that in the GitOps workflow on your GitHub repository and use that inside your GitOps workflow because somebody can just easily get your Kubernetes secret, decode it and get the value of that secret. So for that, there are different ways. For example, you can use the secret store CSI driver, you can use the external secrets operator, or you can use the sealed secrets. If you do not know about any of these, I have created three videos explaining with demos all the three. Interestingly, I came across a very new project, which is, I think, a useful tool. That is what we'll be going to discuss today, which is Sealed Secrets UI. Sealed Secrets for Kubernetes provides a declarative way for Kubernetes secrets to be stored, encrypted, and put in the code report. Then you can actually use that inside your GitOps workflow. So basically, the secret which will be there will be 100% encrypted and only be decrypted using the controller. So what happens is there is the CLI tool, which in this case we won't be using. We'll be using the fancy uh, sealed secrets UI. Then there is a sealed secrets controller. So sealed secrets controller is basically the thing that will decrypt the sealed secrets into the equivalent sealed secrets. And even if you have access to the encrypted secrets, you cannot decrypt it. Only the controller can decrypt it of that particular cluster. And you will be able to do that inside your GitHub repository. Anyways, you can check out the detailed video on my YouTube channel about sealed secrets. In this particular video, we are focused mainly on the sealed secrets UI that provides the very simple and intuitive web interface for creating and managing sealed secrets. And simple UI, seamless integration. So if you have existing sealed secrets, you can install this deployment and service on top of it and make up the UI. Also intelligent management, so it checks all the existing secrets, appends that, appends the new value from the UI and avoiding the duplication. So let's do one thing. Let's first deploy the secret seed secrets controller and use our favorite killer coda environment for that. So cube CDL get nodes. It is P130. And we'll do a helm install of the operator. Now, like I said before, we will not install cube C, which was required, which anyways was required for the sealed secrets. So now we'll be just using the UI. So let's Helm repo add and Helm install. So commands, Helm install sealed secrets inside the cube system namespace. And you can define like, uh, you can define these in the environment variables, like what namespace it should look for because it has to get all the information. The UI has to get all the information from the controller and default is cube system, which works fine in our particular case. So it's done. Cube CTL get pods hyphen A and we can see our sealed secrets controller is running. Now what we'll do is we'll deploy the UI. So let's copy it. We deploy YAML inside this. We'll just do AD80 instead of HTTP. So this won't work with HTTP. I can, I'll raise a PR later on. So QCBL apply hyphen F deploy. And I will do the same demo that we did in the video when we learned about sealed secrets. So it's a simple deployment, which is using MySQL root password, like we are giving the environment variable MySQL root password and the environment is getting the value from the secret called MySQL secret with the key password. This is what we have to create. But what we'll do is we'll copy it and we'll apply this anyways. So cat, EOF, kubectl, apply hyphen. So it will give the error. And you can see create container config error because the secret doesn't exist yet. Now we'll create the service for sealed secret. So pisvc.yaml. And again here, we'll use the target port as 8080. kubectl apply hyphen f s c kubectl get pods hyphen a. Let's see if everything is up and running. Yes, we have everything up and running. So we have the controller and the sealed secrets UI up and running. Now we'll port forward this and for that we'll be using 
क्यूब सी टी एल फॉरवर्ड हाइफ एन क्यूब सिस्टम एस बी सी सील सी क्रिएट सी वाई ए डी ए डी एंड ए डी ए डी ऑफ द सर्विस एंड विल गिव दिस एड्रेस सो लेट्स गो एंड चेक इन द यू आई ए टी ए टी सो वी कैन क्रिएट स्ट्रिक्ट नेम स्पेस एंड क्लस्टर स्कोप सीक्रेट सो वी कैन क्रिएट नेम स्पेस वन इन द डिफॉल्ट नेम स्पेस विद नेम ऑफ माई सीक्वल सीक्रेट एंड वी कैन गिव पासवर्ड एज हेलो so we get a yaml configuration so this is the yaml configuration and this is the encrypted data so this can be committed to github repository as well so we copy this we go into the new tab api secret dot yaml cube ctl apply hyphen f secret and cube ctl get ports let's delete this cube ctl get ports and you can see the pod is now up and running we can exec into it cube ctl exec hyphen it hyphen hyphen env and we can see my sql root password have been created as hello cube ctl get secrets we can also see the secret got created cube ctl get secret hyphen oyaml and we can see the base 64 secret that got created by the controller so it got the encrypted secret decrypted it and created a kubernetes respective secret for that and we can check it echo this base 64 hyphen d and that is hello that we created from the sealed secrets ui so i think it's pretty fancy pretty easy to create a, a sealed secrets ui now yes this project just if you can see like this project was just open sourced like yesterday itself so it's pretty new check it out and i feel like there is a lot of things that can be done here like listing of the secrets and you know all the all the regular stuff only it's new and based on feedback it can be a feedback driven development from there on as well but yeah i would love to see the uh, you know different these clusters that can be connected and uh, for each how the authentication can be maintained and then list of the secrets which are already there or list of secrets that have been encrypted direct connectivity with vault and other you know key management systems and stuff like that so yeah i have already covered sealed secret uh, secret store csi driver and the external secrets operator in detail in the past with full placed examples so do check all these out i'll put the links in the description but this video was all about sealed secrets you It's fancy, it's cool, and it's easy to use UI, and you do not have to download QC for that. So uh, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, then please do share it and make sure to subscribe to to simplify for future updates and the latest and the greatest content in cloud native. Thank you so much for watching, and see you. In the next